Make something Monday. Get well card. So this is a card that I created just before the holidays. People were starting to get sick and I thought, oh, we need to make a make something Monday card. And so I'm finally getting around to it at this new year. People are getting better, but if you need to make a get well card, as you can see here, I started with a foam sheet um, initially made from a meat tray um, holder and I cut the edges I washed it of course cut the edges there's some marks on there so I'm showing you with the highlighter some marks that are already in the foam board but I decided you know what I need to come back and use a marker so you can see what I'm doing better so I'm highlighting the areas that are already marked and I'm adding more marks. I decide I'm gonna use flowers or make flowers for the image. Just some random kind of flowers, nothing specific. Just giving it some different uh, um, ideas of you know, how to put on a flower, how to create a flower. That's just out of the imagination. Just something fun to work with. So I'm drawing the flowers in. A little rose I'm gonna pop in there. Adding the leaves. And I'm talking about, you know, making the leaves different, changing things up a bit to make it interesting. Just imaginative, nothing specific. Then I add clouds around the bottom with just some half circles, little bits of rain to add to the image. Just something out of my imagination. Then I'm talking about how to press in to this foam board and I'm using a clay tool, um, the tip of the clay tool to press into the foam, the meat tray, and I'm showing you as I go over each part of the blue marker that I drew, I want to outline each shape, each flower, and I'm using the word indent, I'm indenting the foam tray pressing in with that clay tool to make the marks needed because what we're going to do is create what's called a print and we're basically etching into the foam tray going over every blue part because we want to make an impression from the indentation those are some big words for some people, not so much for others, but you'll see what I mean in a little while. Going over each blue part, and I'm almost finished. Just going to go over a few more areas, making sure we can tell that it's been indented. Looks good. Okay, clouds are there, rain is there, flowers in the air. And then I'm showing you what we're using. Now, if we we're doing a normal print, and we had normal supplies, we would use printer's ink, but I don't have printer's ink. So I'm going to do this creatively. I'm going to use dishwashing liquid to make it a sticky surface. I'm going to use a paintbrush to brush over the whole surface with the dishwashing liquid. And you'll see why in a little bit as well, why I'm doing that. Now I'm gonna add some paint. Now if I added the paint first, it would dry up too quickly. The dishwashing liquid allows it to stay wet longer. And I need that because as I said, I'm going to make a print on paper and I want it to to stay. If I just use the paint, it would dry too quickly on the, uh, the meat tray. 
and it wouldn't print at all. So I put the soap down to give it some stickiness that'll last. Just throwing in some color on these flowers. And I didn't have another surface to put that on and I wanted it to stay thick. So I just poured it right onto the brush. And yes, I'm doing some blending of color by just using the brush as it is. Quickly brushing in all these areas, not worrying about being very neat. I have to work quickly so it doesn't dry. Adding the stems, the flowers. And adding a little highlights with some yellow. Using the tip of my brush, the other end of the brush, because I don't want to muddy it up too much with the other colors. I want to try to keep that clean. So, I'm now going to bring you the paper. We're going to take this interesting type of parchment paper and we're pressing it down onto the meat tray. You want to get a good press all over, hoping it's still wet enough. Pull it off and you can see what's left and here is the print. Voila! You can see where some of the bottom didn't transfer very well. I probably didn't put enough, and I'm talking about that now with my finger pointing around. I probably didn't put enough of the dishwashing liquid in that area. Um, or the paint. Might have been the paint. Anyway, the image is there. You can see the flowers. And I'm pretty pleased with it. It captured a lot of the color. It's giving it a, an interesting look that looks nice as well um, I'm showing you where I could have added more blue and I did not and so it shows you can see in this area that's where I could have added more blue and I did not do that I do a double print on a separate sheet of paper and you can see where the blue showed up but the flowers did not because it's beginning to get too dry and that was the reason for using the dishwashing liquid to keep it moist, keep it light long enough to transfer onto that paper. So um, I'm letting you know that's what you can use. Now that's a nice image all by itself. We can let that dry, hang that up somewhere if you'd like. Um, but what this is for is to be able to completely reuse um, I'm talking about um, different tools you can use to go in to make this these images come out more clearly. That's a smaller tool uh, um, to press into the the foam tray. If I wanted to be more precise, the detail. Now you saw I just washed it off real quick, and there is my print. And I've decided to just go with that. I like what it did. Now I'm showing you some embossing powders, embossing pens. What is that? Embossing materials are something that um, you can get in any craft store. This is a pen of ink that stays wet, which means you can pour a powder onto it and heat it, and it will uh, emboss the paper. It will There's the heater, and it will stay onto the surface. So... I'm going to show you here where I'm going to add some em the embossing pen. And I'm drawing in certain areas of the flower. I'm starting with the stems and the leaves. And I'm going around all the, the stems and leaves for the flowers. And then I'm going to highlight some areas when I'm done with that. And you'll see that in a minute. And this type of pen, embossing pen... Like I said, the ink does not dry. I can actually erase some of it if I want. So I'm pouring on the embossing powder, as you can see right here. I'm about to pour that into that folded card shape. And pour it back into the container. 
using the embossing heating tool right there. Okay, I'm showing you what it looks like. And you simply turn the heat on. You have to be very careful. It can burn you and you don't want that to happen. Um, so be very careful with this tool not to be used by children. Um, so I'm, I'm using the embossing tool. It's actually the original form of it was a paint stripper. Um, and that heat goes over the embossing powder. And as you can see, I'm going over the whole thing and you can see what happens. It melts that powder and it gives it a metallic appearance that looks like gold. Now I sped up all of this to show you quickly because it takes a little bit of time to get all these different areas done. So I'm talking and sharing about the gold highlights that you can see now. Um, there's some areas of the paper that the gold stuck to, as you can see, and that's where the um, dishwashing liquid was still there. Okay, so now I'm using a glue stick to glue down to the black cardstock, which I used as a the card itself as a frame of sorts. I'm using the embossing marker to go over this stamp. As you can see, I'm covering the whole surface of the stamp with the embossing marker in a black color. Again, it stays wet. So I'm pressing it into the black paper so you will not have a hard time seeing it, but you can kind of see the shape is there. Okay. Now I'm about to cover it with embossing powder so you'll really be able to see it. Let's put that paper underneath to catch the powder, pouring it on top. All right, moving it around, shaking it off. Bam, it sticks to where the ink went. Okay, going around the edges of that because I don't want a lot of that embossing powder on the edges. Making sure it's gone, using my embossing heater. And you can see the change happening as the heat goes on to the powder. And voila, there's a gold effect. I decide to do it again and think maybe I'll use it on another card. I think I later decide to use these as a pair of earrings um, to do something different with. But I play around just to see what works, what doesn't. I like to experiment with different art supplies to see how they work. Okay, I'm pouring that embossing powder, tapping it off, putting it away back into the container so we can save our stuff. And you can see the difference. One's been heated and one has not. Brushing away some of that gold dust using the embossing heater and voila you can see the change bam all right two gold squares with an interesting pattern on the inside okay and now i'm showing you the finished product of the print with some areas that are embossed. Oh yes, and then I decide to add some embossing along the edge of the image itself to give it some more highlight. All right, you can see where I put my name and the title of which you could not see without the embossing, embossing powder. I wrote that with the embossing pen and then added the powder, brushing a little of the excess. And I'm talking about how to keep it clean. Brush it off if you don't want it all there, but some of it is going to stay because it's naturally going to set into that black paper. Just using a fine dry brush to get some of those areas cleaned out that I didn't want too much gold to appear. So working on the finer detail 
I'm having to look at that, make sure it's okay, and I haven't brushed away too much. Okay, I'm going to use the embossing heater. Very hot, as you can see. It's a red hot in there. Go over the embossing powder, and the letters start showing up. Get well soon. One of one in the middle. Our chambers. 11 2022 is when this actually was completed. I just did not record it until now. Okay, so here you see the work. And I think I decide to trim the bottom half of that. But I see some errors that I brushed away a little bit too much. So I'm going back in with my pen, just sprinkling some of that embossing powder on top to fix the problems. Whatever got brushed away. Then I'll heat it back up. Right, I'm pouring that on there, fixing it up, cleaning it again. All right, ready to go. Emboss it again with the tool, the heating tool. Okay, it's looking pretty good. And I decide I need some other color on the inside. So if someone were to write inside, it needs to be seen and legible. And black on the inside is not the best unless you're going to make all the lettering black or gold rather. So um, I decide to add that beige color on the inside. And it looks very nicely. I trimmed the bottom off, as you can tell, of the black. And um, using glue stick, I glued the beige colored um, cardstock to the inside. Now I'm trying to decide what to do with those gold pieces that I created, the gold squares. And I just move it around. I'm not quite sure what to do with them, if anything. Trying different places to put them, what looks best or not. And that's really just a personal choice. I decided not to go with the gold squares at all. And this is our final result. Finishing touch right here was on the back where I bossed my name. But this is it. Nothing on the inside, so it can be written on anywhere. And there's the front. Hoping and praying that all stay happy and healthy into this new year. God bless.